I am fired up about today. I'm so excited to go thrifting. I'm not as fired up, <laughs> but I'm excited to go shopping. We've been kind of MIA and you're gonna find out a little bit more on that here soon, what we've been doing, but we've been off grid and I haven't had a Goodwill in over two weeks. So we are at Goodwill in Malala, Oregon, and this one's a little bit of a trek to get to, but last time we were here, we crushed it. And I'm secretly hoping that they have more of the Pendleton skirts because after that video came out, a couple of you contacted me and you were saying that you would love to buy any old Pendleton stuff that I find. Those um, things are gone. They're probably they're gone, gone, but you never know. You never know unless you go. We got the last shopping cart. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, yeah, I guess there's, there's more. Bunch out there. <laughs> okay, it's just the last one in here. <laughs> Preheated shopping cart. Oh, is it warm? Yeah. That's gross. Oh, we need to so sanitize warm. those things. It's so warm here. Oh my gosh. We're just Sweet, it's not new, too busy. We're here. Not too busy. This is great. Is that a mid-century dresser? I think it's a decent one. Oh, look at this rattan set. This is cute. It's only $19.99. That's okay. For that, and then $9.99 for the chair. Blue is the color off, and this is yellow. $30 for the set. That's not bad. I'm not feeling this. <laughs> He's not feeling it. I'm not feeling this. I don't know. To find a set like that's pretty hard to do. I think I might be getting it. All right, let's see what our other options are. This is actually fantastic, and we're for sure getting that. That's amazing. $39.99. You know where I want to put this? Where? In my closet room. Love these lamps. They kind of remind me of some Art Deco ones that I got recently, but these are obviously newer based on this sticker. They're $6.99. Um, I'm not going to get them, but those are really nice. I do like a nice pair of stacked wooden lamps. These are Viking glass. They are only $1.99 each. There's unfortunately not an entire set, but there is five of them. And I'm gonna keep an eye out because sometimes they end up getting put in a different spot. But for $1.99 each, that is a good buy. You can buy four and have a set of four. I know, I sometimes think about it. I've even done this before once where I bought a set of four and then I did end up buying the additional one. So I guess I got five and then I listed a set of four just in case one broke, then I would have a replacement one for the missing one. These are a little dirty, but they're still in really good condition. It doesn't look like they've got any chips on them. Oh, I like this honey pot. It does say honey on it, but I like it. And it's only $4.99. Honey stick? There is no honey stick. Maybe we can go look in the kitchen utensil aisle because I have found them there before when I found a honey pot that was missing one. That's, That's a lot of honey. That, that, you know what? That is actually a lot of honey. You are correct on that. That's Usually like, honey pots are like this tall. That is a lifetime supply. Of honey. <laughs> Maybe they really like honey. Right. You love honey. I got the pot for you. Almost missed this piece of pottery. Oh, that's nice. $3.99. Could you help me to see what's underneath there? I want to see if I know the signature on there. Picasso. <laughs> W-A-Y. I'm not sure what it says, but I like it. How much is it? $3.99? We're getting all the yellow tags today. Everything they just put out. What if it came from a mid-century estate and the lane dresser is from there too? We'll find it all. We're gonna find everything from that home today. Seriously. <laughs> this, someone's planting this. Who knew we were coming here today? <laughs> I'm never gonna see another penguin ice bucket. Insulators for days. Jesse just spotted this little teapot. Is that real wood? It is. What does this say on the bottom? Oh, it has a big dent. Darn. 
Barber Ware, Taiwan. Taiwan. Okay. Mm. It is kind of cute though. It's a little small. Yeah. It's the opposite of the honey pot. I know, right? It's like <laughs> too too big of a honey pot. It's like, do you want some honey for your <laughs> tea? <laughs> oh my god, stop. How did I end up in the tool aisle? What is happening? I never go down this aisle. Every dresser you buy is a new tool for me. <laughs> yeah, that, that's fair. That's fair. Actually, every dresser you buy is a new non-running vehicle I get to buy. Ooh, 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 ooh. I might put the dresser back. <laughs> I might put the dresser back. <laughs> They're putting something else out. What if they brought in no? Wouldn't that have been cool if they brought in like another piece of the dresser set? Because they didn't have room before. We're looking for that Pendleton. Not Pendleton. Ooh, this color is really pretty. I'm too busy picking Pendleton up. Look at he found Pendleton. Not only did he find Pendleton. $14.99, which is a little steep, but it is purple, so it's half off. Half off, nice. And it's not an extra small. Nice, put it in the cart. Good job. I got distracted by this beauty because I really love the fabric. It's a handmade skirt and I love the color on it. I don't know if it's translating on screen, but it's like this deep ocean green blue. And I think this would be incredible for the Japan trip. I feel like I want some kind of longer skirt so I can be dressed up, but have something longer. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. How does this is this like a velvet? Yeah, it's like a velvet. So it Sometimes, yeah, it gets and... that kind of look to it. Like it's messed up, but it's not. Oh my gosh, it's not translating on screen, but I promise it's really, really pretty. The clasps on it look pretty old. I'm going to get it because it might not work for me, but I think it would work for Michelle. And I have a feeling she's going to love this material too. $6.99. Good thing I got this. I just happened to have brought it because I'm looking for a 16 by 20 picture frame for an art piece. So I brought this with me today and I don't think this dresser is going to fit in the back. I feel like we should bring one of those every time. We actually have a little one in there that's always there, but I brought an extra one just in case. This one does do 16 inches by 20. It does. It's big enough. Okay. I also had one on my keychain for the longest time, but one time I snapped my finger because I let go of it and it hurt so bad. So I got rid of that. Jesse is so excited. We found a dresser. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I'm really excited. Yeah. Would I have bought it? No. But Laura um, is magic and she'll make <laughs> it look good. And I've learned my lesson many times to not doubt Laura and her abilities. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, you can keep doubting me. It's okay. I can take it. I think my doubt drives you. <laughs> it motivates me. I see the head shake and I'm like, yep, <laughs> we're getting it. I need to switch up my approach. That'd be hilarious if all of a sudden you were like, I love it. You should definitely get that. It might work. It here's, might work. Here's the thing. Am I a big fan of the dresser? No. Is Laura going to make it look awesome? Yes. We have five dressers at home already. Yes. At least you didn't get that wicker desk. <laughs> I'm going to turn our guest bedroom into a closet bedroom for me because we don't have guests. We don't, <laughs> we don't have guests. <laughs> Do you want to come over and hang out? Yeah, I mean, that's the truth of the matter. Is... Nobody ends up staying with us because we live five minutes from all of our family. It's just, yeah, just not getting used. So I'm going to turn that bedroom into a closet room. We are going to get moving on to the next location. First, we got to go check it's up to the car. If the dresser fits. That's not going to fit. It's not going to fit. No. It's not going to fit, which is good because it means I can put tons of stuff in it. It's a no. It's a no. It's... <laughs> Ooh, but look how good it looks. Woo! She's cute. Ooh, so much furniture. I'm so excited. <laughs> too soon, too I'm soon. These couches. Look at that little table though. That's actually really nice. It's got nice legs. $29. Mm. It make a good little entry table. It's kind of a odd size. I feel like it's kind of wide for an entry table. <laughs> What's this thing? Miller under here. Does it really? No. Stop it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't not believe I fell for that. But check out this little cutie right here. This is a furniture piece Jesse can get behind. Look how cute that is. Look at the legs. Oh, 
that's adorbs 9.99 this is going to be a pass because that's glued and then the sticker makes it look pretty pretty new but it's, like it's, it's really elmer's adorable glued or something too elmer's glue <laughs> I don't know if that was the right glue. Yeah, that doesn't look like a wood glue, does it? No. It's a really cute design, though. Really cute. I feel like it's 90s. I feel like it came out of the Friends coffee shop. Mm. Hey, that stuff's trendy. Friends coffee shops, Central actually. Perth, that be should be... Oh, look at that table right there. The little bar top one. We'll go look at that next. Oh my gosh, there's so much good furniture in here today. Super thrift for the win, always. No, you're not getting that. Yeah, this is right up. <laughs> <laughs> I think this would look good in your closet room. No. $199. dollars <laughs> it's bigger than your closet room. That, it actually for sure is bigger than my <laughs> closet room. For sure. And that must be heavy because that's solid oak. Those are cute little vintage they chairs. They are. <laughs> and they're in really good condition. They're like chairs to put out when you have too many people over. Wow, those look almost unused. Three ninety nine. Jesse's getting furniture. I love it. They're super light. They're aluminum. Yeah, those are great. We have people over all the time, and we don't have enough chairs. I know. Even though nobody spends the night, we have people over. <laughs> no, we don't have overnight guests. No overnight guests. <laughs> Temporary guests. They're just there for a couple hours. These are also light, and they're not going to destroy me or moving them either. <laughs> He's got to justify it. I'm never going to live it down with that dresser that I just got. I got so excited for a second because I thought that this was just a lamp, but not working for me with the table too. So this is what I saw from far away, but I thought it was actually a bistro height table. So it's kind of a normal side table size. It's really cute. It's got a lacquer on the top, but at least that's protective it and it's only $9.99. Yeah. Somebody like turned this and then they glued it in here and stuck it up in there. <laughs> Jesse's description That's... of the woodworking, <laughs> in case you were wondering how it's made. Do you see that dresser with those little handles? It's yeah. kind of a cutie too. One of the handles. This is broken. Broken, scratched, You're not gonna be able to fix dented. That. You just spotted that green tags are 50% off. Are any of them green? No. Nope. We got yellow and orange. Yep. No luck so far. $149.99. Instant 80s bachelor setup here. <laughs> what does it even play? CDs. Okay. Phonos. Phonos. Mm -hmm. Tuner. I know that's radio. This is record player. It does video aux one. Ooh. And aux two. Ooh. Two auxes. <laughs> and look at all uh, the levels of volume. <laughs> I know. It's <laughs> a lot of levels. Hold on. This is weird. What? When you like turn the volume up on a knob, don't you usually go this way? Yes. So this one is this way, oh, right? Is that yeah. weird? Yeah, yeah, because the numbers go higher on that side. That is weird. This must have been made south of the equator. <laughs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> I see some lampshades I like. Let's see if they come with the lamps. I really like the two tan. Oh, they're velvety and they're pleated. But it looks like they do come with the lamps. This one's got a big crack in it. They're pretty dusty too. What else we've got here? Anything else? Any other good lampshades? I'm always looking for good lampshades. Check it out. It's the set that matches the octagon plates that I have. Yeah. Made in France. I've never seen this many of the coffee mugs. What's funny is when I went up to it, I wasn't serious about getting it, but now I'm actually thinking that's a really good solid set. These are a good weight and the handle's good for actually using for daily use. It's not big enough for me. Well, that's because you have too much coffee. But sometimes I don't pick up um, vintage coffee mugs because they're the way that they hold in your hand isn't quite right or the way that they're just not big enough to be practical. But this would fit a nice eight ounce cup of coffee. They're only 99 cents. I think we do it. I think we get the whole lot. Oh, this is interesting. Look at this. It looks like the icicle glass, somebody glued it onto here, onto that pedestal. I think yeah. so, right? I don't know. I've never seen them with a base like that. And it look, you can yeah. see the glue through it. I feel like the manufacturer wouldn't have done that. Maybe, yeah. Interesting. Huh. Kind of devalues it, but, yeah. which is too bad because that's actually a really adorable little size. I don't have one that small. 
we'll leave it for someone else. Brandon Roy Baba. No, I'm good. How do you move? I cannot even do bobbleheads. What? <laughs> I'm not good at I'm not good at bobbleheads. <laughs> that looks like a seizure. That's not bobbing. Oh my goodness. This is a pretty burl wood. I don't think it's burl wood. It's just some kind of like a film they added to it. Ooh, that's pretty. R-E-G-O. That's really pretty. It's like heavy too. This furniture is really nice. It's too traditional for me, but I love these little art deco looking sections here. I think it's like newer production. I think so too. I think it's Major maybe 80s. Yeah. 119. It's solid though. Like these scales. Yeah, this is all. Yeah. That design right there is beautiful though. I feel like this came right out of a Motel 6. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say catalog. And that too. They have a lot of fireplaces here. This is where we got the fireplace. This one's not as cool as ours, though. No. Not even close. Not, no. But if you need a fireplace, super thrift. Apparently they're in the fireplace business. This is a nice set here. It's $14.99 for all of it. How do you say this? Faltzgraf? Faltzgraf? I cannot say this word for the life of me. Faltzgraf. These are pretty collectible. Where'd you come up with a lamp? Even though it's new. You just whip that out of nowhere? Yes. I like it. It's very industrial. Yeah, it's new. It's only 10 bucks. That's why I'm getting it. It's like mass-produced, handmade look. Uh-huh. <laughs> it looks like something Schoolhouse Electric would make. Right. And sell for like $250, but $300. I'll figure out something to do with it. Yeah, it's cool. Hey, you do actually don't have for to rewire bucks. it for once. I know. It's all good. And it's on a dimmer, too, so that's kind of cool. Hmm. You got to find a honey stick. We didn't find one at the last Goodwill. We need a tall honey stick. Think we'll find it? It's not a thing. What anymore. do you mean? Like nobody uses them? They just right. dip in their They just like get fingers? the plastic bottle of honey from the store and then Oh yeah. Them, right? No, you're definitely right. The bear. But I feel like really if you're weird, gonna sell like we need a potato masher. Do we? I don't know. I feel like last time we made mashed potatoes, we didn't have a potato masher. I have made a lot of mashed potatoes in my life and I've never used one of those. What were you using? Okay, do you want to know what I use? I use a big one of these. A whisk? Yep, because it mashes it in a way I like. Those because like it's like, <laughs> I, I, I mean, they're, they're nice and soft. And then I use a bigger one of these and I just like the way that it cuts through the potato because I like my potatoes to still be chunky. And I feel like when you use these, you mash and mash and mash and it all becomes mashed, which might be the purpose, but there's gonna be I like chunky potatoes. Oh no, did I just start a whole debate in the comments? How do you like your potatoes? Do you like them chunky? Do you like them mashed? Do you like them pureed? Do you use like an immersion blender? Let's definitely find out how people like their potatoes. That's kind of a nice old one. It's got a crack though. Like projectors, but look at this. That one is look so at the old cute. Films, though. Making mouse. Wow. 1940s, like reel to reel. Homemade in Hollywood. Wow. Are those really only worth that much? I'm sure they looked them up. I don't know. I'm not not our genre not for sure. Genre. Somebody come and get them. Super cool. thrift. Oregon City. Super thrift for the win. Not bad. Yeah, we each got some stuff. We got chairs. We got a little end table. Got some coffee mugs to sell not bad i feel like this super thrift is always good every time we come here we find good stuff it's great it's really full of a lot of stuff like mm -hmm. if you were like needing to furnish a house like there's a bunch of couches and dressers and bed frames yeah there's all kinds of like, stuff and the pricing's really good too anywhere from five dollars to forty dollars for the furniture real right. solid wood furniture right. not a ton of stuff that as a reseller i'm looking for but real sturdy solid wood stuff that if you're looking to furnish your home on the cheap maybe you just want to paint some furniture and you want it to be solid and last a good time this is the place for you and it's super friendly yeah. staff they're always in a really yeah. good mood they're always like 
chipper. Really helpful. I yeah. like chipper people. I like chipper. I'm glad because that's because <laughs> you married someone that's pretty chipper. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah, it better be good with chipper. All right, we're going to head to another Goodwill and we're just going to keep this day going as long as we've got the energy for it and the room. Am I stealing your job? <laughs> I don't know who I am without pushing a shopping cart in Goodwill. Is that a Haywood Wakefield that's painted hot pink? <laughs> no. You sure you don't? I think it just needs a little restore finish and we're good. Oh on this my one. gosh. Is it got a name in there, a brand? No. Uh, no Somebody, this please is save it. Someone save it. No one's saving that. Someone's saving it's it. It's beyond saving. I believe, I believe in someone. Oh, that needs to be, I don't know who they are, but I believe in them. That needs to be buried in the backyard. Please tag me <laughs> if you are the someone who comes and saves this. Oh, is that portable? portable? We could take it on the picnic. Yeah, who needs? That'd be so cute. Except we do have cell phones that are always <laughs> on us. <laughs> I see a pretty wood grain down here. Oh my gosh, it's a heart. Well, that's a nice little handmade box, though. Handmade? You think this is handmade? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. someone made it. That is true. Some Does it smell good? Oh, it reminds me. It reminds me of the one I had when I was a kid from the Redwoods. I had a deer on the top and I would just smell it all the time. I never put anything in it. <laughs> Apparently I got a thing for smelling boxes. You want to smell this one too? No, I'm good. I'm good. It open, doesn't look like that one would smell good. Yeah, you want to open this up and take a whiff? No. <laughs> Stop it. This would make a really pretty little soap dish. It's $2.99. I think I'm gonna get this for staging. I think that would be so pretty with a little ball of soap in it. So good. They're like unfinished. Are those bowling pins? <laughs> they do kind of look like bowling pins. They have a tag. They were oh. from a store. I think they're for you to finish, like, like from, from a craft store. store, yeah. To make your own. Ooh, that's kind of pretty. $9.99. That would make a gorgeous vase with some flowers Is in it. Can you icky bana it? You sure can. Will it icky bana? Let's see if they're. <laughs> it's a whole new challenge. Will it icky bana? <laughs> I don't see any signatures. Some of those scratches almost look like signatures, but I don't think so. It's $9.99. Still worth it though. That's going to be gorgeous. It's got really pretty shape. It's dented though, but I like the patina on it. It's $6.99 as is. The silence is me thinking. I'm really on the fence. I really like it. The dents don't cause a big problem for me because you can turn it. Then you expose that, you turn it, and then I know the what, birthmark. The birthmark. That is now the, the title of this, the birthmark. Dude, I'm getting it. You, right. just, you just challenged me, you the birthmark. Oh, that is great. Good. How did I miss that? Good eye. It's a good thing you brought me. <laughs> good thing. Good thing. Ooh, it's twelve ninety nine though. I think that's still a pretty decent deal. Is this any is, of the glass broken? It doesn't look like it. Yeah, I think that's definitely worth it. That's something that should probably sell for like thirty to forty. Yeah, these are cool. This is a nice little turned bowl too, or vase. It's two ninety nine. I like that it has the lines on it. Makes it a little different. Two ninety nine. Let's get it. Why not? I haven't found a good basket at Goodwill in a long yeah, time. They stay monitored. They do. They stepped it up. They have learned. And they are all hot for a while. They were pretty trendy. Yep. But on, not only that, I think they realize that some baskets can be worth a lot of money. This is a nice basket. It's actually. It looks like that desk you wanted to buy. <laughs> it does kind of look like the desk. <laughs> it's a little bit dirty. Um, I'm not really into the handled baskets, but that's got pretty good shape. That could definitely be styled up cute. Yeah, no baskets at Goodwill for us. Look at these. Those are really great. $6.99 blue. What's the color off this week? Purple? Yeah, purple. Okay, $6.99. $6.99, definitely, definitely.
We're doing the final sweep. I'm gonna check these end caps, make sure we haven't missed anything. I think there's gonna be hearts. I need assistance, please, in aisle four. They'd be really tiny hearts. Oh man. Do you need it for your Traeger? What is, is it just plain? No, oh, so basic. No hearts. Dude, look what? at the scoop. What is that a scoop for? <laughs> Honey? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Why do you need a scoop that big? Maybe dog food? You could scoop for a dog food bowl? Dude, you're overfeeding your dog. That's $6.99, the biggest scoop you've ever seen. Goodwill. Jesse's find of the day. Sour Veg Kids. They're vintage. <laughs> Ew, they're, they're gonna be nasty. Because they got the blue. A lot of Sour Veg Kids history. Blue no, is nobody recently does. Added oh. Recently as in the Is that supposed to be blue years. raspberry? Yeah, they didn't used to have blue. Anyway. That's funny. Well, I got some clothes <laughs> for Japan. I'll show you this when we get home and get my closet room put together. Got a few things, not too bad. I think we might be calling it a day after this. It's time for dessert already. This video is not sponsored by Sour Patch Kids, but I would totally accept a Sour Patch Kids <laughs> endorsement and sponsorship. Send your emails, hello at leftcoastrevivals.com. Right. I think that's a wrap for today. We didn't do too bad. I do wish we would have got more smalls. I feel like I could have used another solid 10 pieces of vintage for my next sale, but I'll find those tomorrow. Cause let's be real, I go out multiple times a week and you can't find a ton of smalls every day. We did good on furniture. I have to come back tomorrow with the truck by myself. Laura's gotta go pick up her giant dresser that wouldn't fit in the car. I hustle though, I'll do it. Anything Takes. for a good piece of vintage, I'll do it. Do you remember when we used to have to unload like 10 things that size every month at the Portland flea market? Yes, I remember. Like I don't think I'll ever forget. It's just scarred on your body, literally. <laughs> it was like moving an apartment. Every, every month. month. We worked hard for that money. That's part of why we always want to go out and support flea markets when you know there's a pop-up event because we know firsthand how physically hard it is to pull one of those events off. So. Yeah, get up early. Crack a dawn. You've worked Monday through Friday. You wake up on your your side hustle. in the morning. Load a small apartment. <laughs> into a pickup truck and then you drive it at 5 a.m. to the flea market. Mm -hmm. Hope nothing falls off on the freeway. Right. And then you unload it all. Hopefully you sell a lot of it. Yeah. And then you don't have to pack it up and take it home. We've, but if you we've all been there on those markets that just don't sell well and the no, people don't turn out. It is such a disappointment. Load that apartment back up into your truck I feel like you're in therapy right now yeah, reliving trauma it it's like he's like talking himself through it like the trauma that he once went through <laughs> you bring it back home you just realize I'm gonna have to load this all up again next month <laughs> You'll be okay. You'll be okay. Oh, okay. So kudos to every single one of you hardworking people out there who do flea markets, especially if you do them every week. I know it's a lot of work, so good job. Keep up the hard work. What's your favorite find from today? And you cannot say Sour Patch Kids. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. Um, I like those folding chairs. Yeah, you're excited about the folding chairs? You know why? Why? They're vintage. Uh -huh. They're in good condition. Uh -huh. They're lightweight. And they're super practical. They are. Sometimes our couch and our couple side chairs don't fit your enormous family. You have a large family. I do have a large family. <laughs> Mine is tiny. Like, <laughs> they can all fit in this car, probably. We're polar opposites in that way. Jesse doesn't have a single first cousin on either side of the family. I have a lot. I think I have 36 first cousins and six siblings. Well, five siblings. There's six of us. So, yeah, we're opposites. So, so when my enormous family comes over. Yeah, we can at least give two of them somewhere to sit. <laughs> yeah. I want to thank Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. When I started my YouTube channel, there was a question that I kept getting over and over again. 
and that was what website do you sell on? Before I launched my Squarespace website, I was selling on other platforms and I was limited to the ever-changing algorithms. Switching to Squarespace completely changed the game for me. I was now able to connect directly with my followers and creatively curate my website to represent the brand that I wanted to build. It has been such a fun creative journey for me using my Squarespace site, which never stays the same. And that's part of why I love Squarespace. They are always changing things and adding in new features, new customizable templates, and adding in more powerful e-commerce capabilities with Squarespace extensions. If you are a vintage seller and you are only selling locally, there is the rest of the world that you can tap into. It can seem like a huge transition to start selling your products online, but Squarespace makes it easy. Head to squarespace.com to start your free trial today. And when you are ready to launch your own website, head to squarespace.com slash left coast to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thanks again to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. We got the dresser home and it fits perfect here in this room. So this actually, when we first bought the house, became my office. Some of you remember that episode. I will link it in the description below where my niece Maya helped me do the peel and stick wallpaper behind me and we decorated this office. But once I got the offsite studio, this became the guest room. And sadly, it has hardly been used. So I will show you where we are at right now and tell you a little bit more about what I'm hoping to do with this space over the next few weeks. All right, so here is where it's currently at. I have not really started moving much of my clothing and closet items up here because I wanted to figure out the layout first. This is one of my favorite furniture pieces I've ever found. I do my makeup every morning at this little vanity and I love it so much. I pulled some of my clothing racks that I used in my shop and put them in here. All of this space here behind these doors is closet space. So I'm gonna be able to put all of my out of season things there and then I'm gonna use these two racks for the things that I'm currently wearing. I have a freestanding mirror. I'm not sure it's gonna stay there, but there wasn't quite room to put it in the corner over here like I was hoping. So for right now, it's gonna live right there. I keep some of my jewelry in this box here. I also have another one over here that I found at PDX Estate Marketplace a while back. I absolutely love this jewelry box because check it out, it's lined with blue velvet. I've always wondered if this is a pasta rack to hang your dried pasta on, but I like it because it rotates and I keep my necklaces on that to keep them nice and safe. And this little wooden rack was also an estate sale find. I use that for my long dangly earrings. And then I currently keep all of my travel supplies in this dresser. And I'm gonna be sharing in a video soon how I stay organized with all of my different travel things for hot weather and cold weather. And I'll be sharing all of my favorite travel essentials. The new dresser is gonna be primarily for clothing. The drawers are so big and deep, which I'm really excited about. Most of them slide really well. There's one or two that need a little bit of work. And as you can see, there is a little bit of damage on the dresser. This area especially needs a little bit of work and then there's definitely some veneer work needed right here. So I will keep you updated on progress on that when I get this room all put together. When we first got the dresser up here, I was kind of thrown that the brackets in the back didn't have the mirror centered. Then I realized it's probably so that you could put a lamp on the other end. And I actually think it works really well. I'm excited to get properly decorating, hide the cords and work some magic in this space. I can already tell it needs something here. So I'm thinking of either having a tall plant or tree for this corner, something that gets low light because we don't actually get a lot of natural light from here. Or maybe I will do a large hanging plant. I'm so excited. I can't wait to get this space put together and share it with you. I know so many of you are going to want to know what's going on right outside this window in what I call Little Italy, but unfortunately we ran into major structural issues when we started working on that space, which are very expensive to fix. We've been saving up. We have contractors lined up to help us out with that project this summer. So I know you've been waiting forever for Little Italy. I have been too, trust me. <laughs> but it is happening. We are finally gonna be ready once the rainy season stops to get working on that project. And I cannot wait to share with you the transformation of this rooftop terrace 
Little Italy. I would love to know what you think of the dresser. Would you have picked this dresser up or would you have left it behind? You already know my opinion. I think it's perfect for a transition piece. Yes, I would love to have a beautiful high-end Danish dresser to match my vanity, but I know that that takes time to find it on a budget. So for $39.99, I think this Lane dresser and mirror was a steal and I'm really glad that we went to Malala Goodwill. It is the perfect piece for the space for right now and I can upgrade it when I find that awesome Danish teak one. That's a wrap. I think that's it. This was an awesome day thrifting. Thank you so much for joining us today and we will see you in the next episode. Do you like my colorful shirt? It's way more colorful than mine. I was feeling very colorful like we got today. we competing patterns going on. Yeah, we definitely clash, <laughs> don't we? Oh my gosh, what are we doing? You have to walk down a different aisle. Good thing we got new microphones. Are you embarrassed to be seen? Yeah, with me? look, we clash. That's not okay. That's not acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. You can shop with me. Oh, thank you. I slept on the couch last night. He so did sleep on the couch. Not, I didn't make him. No, I didn't make him. I wasn't forced to. You were not in trouble. <laughs> I am overcoming jet lag i fell asleep on the couch me too i it was eight o'clock p.m and i was like good night and you were like really and i had a feeling that i was gonna go fall asleep and you were never gonna come up which is exactly what happened i think you fell asleep right after that too yep it always, it always happens and then i woke up at three in the morning wide awake he had one cat on him upstairs i had one cat on me downstairs home life of laura and jesse <laughs>